I have no crazy <laughs> intro for you this time. <laughs> I was sitting there. I was like, do I just do the same intro again? But I think we're. we're I kind of liked go. your intro last time, though. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I take it you're you're a Baltimore Ravens fan, then right. I take it big time, big time. How are you feeling about them this year? I am really excited. Yeah. I I am over the moon. I think Lamar is going to be on it this year. That run game is going to be ridiculous. Okay. With Derrick Henry there. Yeah. I mean, if you there's no way on the planet anybody's defending Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry together. Uh, no I, way on the I don't care what middle line middle linebacker is sitting there. Yeah. Because if you hand the ball off to Derrick Henry, he's going to run for 40 yards. Fair. And if Lamar pulls it, he's running for 40 yards around the corner. So Fair. we're good. I'm Fair. not worried. Luckily, I don't think we play Baltimore this year. So <laughs> then again, you know the Bears they're they're looking really good this year. So the Bears, we'll see. The, the, every Bears fan always starts. It's going to be our year, man. It's going to well, be yes, our year. Yes, yes. That's our yes, year. Yes. But and they, they actually go six and eleven. They went and got a good. <laughs> they they went and got they went and got their quarterback. But yes. then they also invested in other Correct. elements because Correct. it's more than just getting a quarterback. It's more than Justin Fields. But we are here at CMA Fest, yeah. and we have the painfully average golfer. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that on your Instagram page, and I was like, "Yep, that's the one we're that's going awesome. with." That's awesome. Oh, we, you do your homework. I love. We this. have uh, Mark Taylor. How's it going today, man? <laughs> it's going great. How are you, man? I'm hanging in there. It's CMA Fest, <laughs> you know. I, I'm still trying to figure out what day it is. We're having but, fun. I don't yeah. know what day I'm in or what city I'm in right now, but fair, we're here. Fair enough. Yeah. You, so I met your tour manager. Yeah. That, that's a new addition since It is CRS. a new addition. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, he's, uh, you may have not have met him. He's been on for a little bit, okay. kind of quietly working in the back. Fair. But we're letting him out of the cage a little bit now. But, no, it has been uh, incredible. We are all over the freaking place, the yeah. world at this point. Yeah. I have no idea where we are today, like I said, but yeah. it is unbelievable. You are in Nashville. I am in Nashville, yes. <laughs> Yes. Fair enough. You're out there, I'm guessing, pushing the whiskey brand. No, you're playing music, of course. Play- <laughs> I'm a whiskey salesman more than I am a musician <laughs> right? sometimes. I, but yeah, it's, the whiskey's been incredible. Total Wine picked it up, which yeah. has been nuts, and it's been sweeping across the country. We're selling a lot of liquor right now. Is it's it distributed re- regionally, or is it starting to come out all like place, all yeah. over? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so it's been, hopefully you'll see it in Texas soon, but okay. it's been crazy all over the country. Because so. I don't think I have a Total Wine near. You can find it online, too. Oh, yeah. See, if you get it online, well, te- there's some Texas is there. weird about that. Oh, is it? Yeah, I, Texas yeah. I'm learning all the laws still. It's very weird about that. But since I'm here in Tennessee, yeah. I will try and go. you got to go find some. Yeah. Some. I don't know what stores have. I know there's a bunch of places that do have it. We'll talk afterwards. Fair, it, fair, it, fair. It's been, it's been really cool, and it's been crazy, man. We've been doing all these shows, and people have been bringing the liquor in. It's been really cool. No, so, it's nice. loving it. I was going to reach out. Uh, we did a live podcast on Wednesday, and I was going to oh, be like, cool. hey, Mark, uh, can we get some of your whiskey and try and <laughs> make it a sponsor or something? And, but then I was just Hit like. up. No, I don't want to put that bar, put the bar in a weird spot because I'm sure they've probably got their own like laws and regulations. It's, been, it's a weird, you know. I picked the two industries with laws from the 1800s: Fair. music and liquor. So Fair. it's it is it is a weird thing sometimes. Cause I'm like, let's just do it this way, and they said, no, no, you don't understand how this works at all. Yeah. But fair enough. You know, fair enough. I'm learning, and luckily I have a wonderful team at Cali Distillery that takes care of everything yeah. for me. Fair so, enough. Yeah. Awesome. So you're uh, in the middle of all kinds of crazy shows. Yeah. You're oh, yeah. all over the place. Yeah. I find it hard to keep up where the hell you're at. So do but, I. You know. But it's fun, man. Uh, so are you just kind of on a little break right now? Or no, what's... actually the exact opposite. So okay. we are in the middle of gearing it up. As okay. If we weren't geared up enough. So we're doing CMA stuff today. Tomorrow, actually, I'm flying out at 6 in the morning to okay. go play a songwriters festival in Delaware. And then flying back at 6 a.m. the next day. So... It's, it's a lot of yeah. those right now yeah. where, you know, we're not saying no to anything because it's all so fun and it's great opportunities. So we're all over the country right now just yeah, fair enough. rocking and rolling, man. It's been really cool. Nice, nice. Yeah. Delaware, that'll be fun. It, yes. I've been trying to figure out how to get to every state. Yeah, and like Delaware. Delaware and Delaware and Maine are like the two oh, where it's like, I don't know it. how I'd get there. It's like easy. yeah Honestly, it's not. So my, my folks live in Baltimore, Maryland. Okay, so yeah, I'm, yeah. Dri- I'm flying there and get my mom's car and drive it. It's your two and a half hours from the beaches. Fair enough. Fair enough. If you really, if you really want to call it close and just have lunch in Delaware, you're an hour from Baltimore. It's really not that bad. Fair, but, fair, fair. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. And you still got, I think the last time we talked, you said, mentioned that uh, you have like equipment set up in like DC or something. Yeah, like, we have doubles everything yeah, in DC, yeah. and it, it's been cool, man. I mean, it is just we're all kind of from the whole team's kind of from that area. Yeah. So it's partly because that's where a lot of our fan base is, but it's also an excuse to go home and see our families Fair. too. So you know, we try to get up and see everybody every once in a while. Yeah. It's been really good. It hasn't happened in a little while, unfortunately, but it's been a lot of fun. Nice, nice. Yeah. So where are you kind of at creatively? I know you just did Brooks and Dawn, yeah. and then you released the acoustic, acoustic version. Acoustic version, yeah. We're, we're doing a little. Is this a surprise coming, Tom? Yeah. Okay. I, I can't clue you in totally, but there's a next couple of weeks we're gonna start teasing it. There's a little surprise. Okay. And we're working on a full length record right now too. So. You know, man, just it's the same old, same old. Writing a million songs and trying to get a couple hits in there, and 
Try to make it happen, brother. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. Books and Done is a crazy song. I love it. Dude, so yeah, thank you. It's uh, it, it's one of those things where every time, well, it doesn't happen that often when I have somebody else in my yeah. car. I'm like a nomad. Yeah. You're like a loner nomad over here. <laughs> Nobody in my car. Do not get it. No. Uh, but every once in a while, you know, it'll happen, and uh, I'll throw the song on. Yeah. It'll just kind of come out naturally or whatever. And, you know, I, I, I catch it. them, like, bobbing their heads and whatnot. Yeah. So it's, no, it, it's I cool. I appreciate it, man. It, it has caught wildfire yeah. these last couple months. I mean, it because we put it out in January. Yeah. And typically, you know, we're supposed to – we were just talking about this in another interview. We're, you're yeah. supposed to be on this, like, five- to eight-week release yeah. cycle. New song, new song, new song. Yeah. I hate doing what everyone else is doing yeah. in this town. So yeah. I'm trying to do the exact opposite, which can be good and bad, but – the opposite for me here is like, you know what? I want to let this one breathe and see what it does yeah. a little bit. We'll tease yeah. the acoustic version. We'll do yeah. that whole thing. And letting it breathe, it's like a nice wine. It yeah. opened up because that it was a slow rollout. Yeah. And it started kind of slow. And then all of a sudden, this thing just caught like freaking wildfire. Yeah. Literally, I, yesterday, crazy story. I'm sitting on a corner waiting for an Uber. And this guy was like, hey, man, like play me a song. And I'm like, oh, no, man, I'm getting an Uber. It, like It's all good. I've been working all day. He's like, hey, just... I want to hear a chorus of something. Yeah. I wanted to move down here when I was a kid, and like I never yeah. got to. So yeah. play me a chorus of one song you wrote. Yeah. I start playing Brooks and Dunn. He starts humming along. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, what? And he pulls up his phone. He goes, watch this. He scrolls through iTunes, and the first song that's liked right there is Brooks and Dunn. No. And he was like, so nice to meet you. I'm like, are you kidding? And he had that's, no idea. He had no idea that I was yeah. Mark Taylor, but he was like, dude, this is crazy. But, you know, it's weird stuff like that starting to happen with that song. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. I, I love watching that sort of stuff on uh, like on TikTok yeah. and stuff yeah, where yeah, yeah. They, I, I'm starting to think some of that stuff is staged. A lot of it's staged. This was not, though. Yeah, I was no, I, totally I shocked yesterday. Because, like, somebody gets most into an Uber staged. and the Uber yeah, drivers. Yeah, most it's like, of it's staged. But, okay, that's you know, convenient. Sorry to You're, pull the whole veil over it. Yeah. But, you know. but no, that's really cool that that just kind of happened because, yeah, it's been you know, the the acoustic version is a completely different thing. It is. And yeah. the Utah, or you started, you're doing something with that that I keep telling musicians they should be doing yeah. is if they want to increase the life cycle of a song, Correct. look Correct. at different ways to put it out there. Because you exactly. got your fully produced yeah. version, which really works. Absolutely. And then the acoustic version. Absolutely. And then if you want to keep it, kick it even a step further, do like a... Re- and, Remix sounds very sure, hip hop, no, but I, I like know what you, mean, yeah. you know, like Absolutely. bring in a guest on a feature Absolutely. or something, and it, it just brings a whole new life to Absolutely. the song. And you've got three songs that you haven't really had to produce three times. Absolutely. It's just, yeah, so. And that's the thing too is that artists, you know, it's so hard if you're not on a major, yeah, to go and spend all this money every time to go drop a new song every six weeks. You know, yeah. it's kind of impossible unless you get some crazy investor behind yeah. it. But like for us mere mortals over here that are, you know, yeah. they can't do that. It's, it's, it's tough. So, I mean, it's, but it's also a really cool way because people found the acoustic version. Like yeah. that was the biggest three day stream we ever had. Yeah. Like when it, when that song came out, the first 72 hours, biggest song we've had in 72 hours, nice. the acoustic version. Yeah. But then people were like, well, where's the full version? And they went back and got that too. Yeah. So it's been this really cool thing. And the followers shot up like crazy on Spotify. And yeah. it was a cool way to reintroduce it. I've always wondered if you guys could see the follow. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. I have my podcast on Spotify yeah, 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 exclusively yeah. now, and I can kind of see the followers. Yeah, absolutely. But I was always kind of curious. Yeah, you can say it. So, oh, yeah. yeah, that's yeah, cool. You can't believe it. There's way more information than anyone wants to know on my listeners. Oh, yeah. On all, we can go in, and it is a little bit scary yeah. how deep in we can go. Oh, that's that how it is over on YouTube. Like, oh, yeah. I'll go oh, absolutely. Di- I dive deep in on my absolutely. YouTube analytics, and I'm like, I, I scared the heck out of my dad one yeah. day. I was like, Hey, Dad, why are you watching this video from 2017 the other day? <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? Well, that video had two views yesterday. That's so funny. They came from Jensen Beach, Florida. You are currently in Jensen Beach, Florida. That's so hilarious. Educated. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. so funny. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's and awesome. It, it's crazy, though. Yeah. It's a little scary. Yeah, it really is. I mean, because really you can really break it down. and you can tar- I mean, you can target ads at the demographics that are, you know, viewing yeah. everything and listening. But it's... It's weird, man. All that data stuff, it scares me, but it's weird. Yeah. I, I mean, it helps. It, it helps, helps the ton. creatives. So. It helps a ton. But, yeah. Um, anyways, uh, so shows, what, what do you, I mean, you've got a whole bunch of craziness, yeah, but if anybody wants to keep up with you, where's yeah, the best to find yeah, you? Yeah, it's uh, marktaylorcountry.com. If you're old-fashioned and like to see a website, all my tour dates are up there. Uh, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, uh, Spotify, all that good stuff. Just search Mark Taylor Country. Mm-hmm. Follow me everywhere. Just don't follow me home. That's the line I've been saying recently and hopefully gets a laugh or two. But, yeah, right. you can find me everywhere, Mark Taylor Country. And, yeah, we're, we're touring all over the country and out of the country, too. It's going to be a crazy, yeah. crazy year. Yeah. I, I haven't looked in a few weeks, but have you announced those Texas 
states? Or? Not yet. No, no we're okay. still that there's we're working on Texas. Actually, okay. Tom's around here somewhere. That's, He's right. Tom, or, Tom, he asked about Texas. <laughs> we're close. Now we're live. We're we're, we're okay. still working on it. We'll see. Okay, fair we'll enough. We'll see. Because I remember you'd mentioned something about it off. Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Time. No, we're like, still working. Texas is a market. I really want to get down there, man. I mean, it's such a cool scene, and yeah. you know, I just I, I love all the bring Texas. The, bring that whiskey with you. There I mean, we go. They, they there love we their, go. They, they love their whiskey down here. <laughs> but uh, really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank for you, us. sir. It's always, it's always a pleasure. blast, and uh, it's almost becoming a, a it. tradition now. Keep it so. up, man. Let's do it. Awesome. Well, once again, thank you all so much, and we'll catch you all later.